Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. We're seeing gold trading about 1645, 1647 this morning. As we indicated in our commentaries, uh, we expect gold to be uh, trading in a range between 1610 and 1650. The resistance around 1735. Uh, <clears throat> We stumbled across the charts of the legendary chartist Gary Wagner, uh, and he has pointed out that he anticipates gold going up $800 uh, over the next year, just as it went up $800 in 2011. Uh, the charts, which are quite technical, um, but we can make them available to you if you like, uh, are reflective that the time right now is a time to lay low. So we've encouraged our clients to watch uh, with amusement as people try to pick day-to-day -day trends and stick with the overall bull trend. Part of the reason that the bull trend is in, in, it going to be in force is it's expected that central banks will buy approximately 190 tons of gold this year, which is up significantly from the 70 tons of gold that were reported uh, in 2011. Um, the other thing that's happening, of course, in the gold area, and we're backing into a story about China, and I swear I'm not going to talk about China for a few days, but uh, the Chinese dissident Li Tai was uh, sentenced to 10 years of hard labor, and I'm going to start calling it that instead of calling it 10 years in jail, 10 years of hard labor in China. And so uh, what uh, he had done was uh, he had published a thing saying that human dignity requires political freedom. Oh, horrors. And so the Chinese locked his rear end up for 10 years of hard labor. The reason I'm pointing out this aspect is that this kind of political unrest in China, uh, which we've talked about at great length, of course is starting to affect the GDP. GDP uh, growth is slowing down and the central bank is starting to print money. What that means is that astute Chinese people are starting to buy gold <coughs> in retail and in large amounts. We have to remember that uh, the, the unfettered, unregulated environment in China is structurally similar to the environment in the Soviet Union when it began to shift away uh, from Stalinist communism. And so if you're an entrepreneur in China, you are having the time of your life, especially since you have the sense to be moving your stuff offshore and in some cases sending your family offshore so that if things turn against you, unlike the Russian oligarchs who stayed around, you can flee. So uh, this is another reason why we see an important buttress for gold, uh, Chinese buying both on the surface and behind the hedge of the teeth. Uh, we're also looking at um, unemployment in the U.S. trending much better. We ask you to remember that the U.S. is going to do fine. When I say fine, I do not mean that in a 12-step program way. I mean that in the way that the U.S. economy is starting to turn around and the horrible uh, crimes that were committed by the financial engineers are, are being um, gradually uh, uh, the, the effect of those crimes is being absorbed in the system, and so we're going to start to see the U.S. economy do well. The U.S. economy will be almost alone in the significant economies in doing well. The rest of the world economies are in, in quite a mess, and they have no hope of getting out. So when we remember gold, we want to remind ourselves that there is no possibility that the euro thing is going to end well. None. There's no possibility that Japan is going to get itself out of its present predicament. There is no way that China is going to get through the next 10 years without suffering insurrection and political instability on a significant basis, either brought about by repression or caused by the evolution of a popular movement. So that's why we think gold is going to do well. We also throw in a final note about rare earths. Watch the U.S.-based rare earths soar in price. Watch those companies uh, because eventually what's going to happen is an effect of the Chinese uh, political instability is going to lead them to further crack down and that's going to give the financing, make the financing available for U.S.-based or German-based companies to really get those rare earths out. So this is Arnie Waters 
aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Watch your gold uh, accumulate in price and have a great weekend. Thank you.